In this web lab, we will explore using CSS Grid for responsive columns. We are going to focus on this center part of the assignment page. There are several coding and design problems we need to solve. Pause the video and make a list of the coding and design problems you see we need to work on. OK, let's compare your list to mine. I see two cards that are stacked top to bottom on small screens and side by side on larger screens. I see space between the cards. I see a card title that is set apart using a background color. I also see that the cards have borders and rounded corners. Now this is subtle, but I see that the large view cards have a drop shadow, while the small screen cards do not. I also see that the two cards on the large view are not the same width. The learning activity card seems to be twice as big as the information card. Some of these are required to pass the assignment, while others are completely up to you to design as you like. Please use your own creativity when building this assignment. We have been asked to use CSS Grid to lay out the columns. When we use CSS Grid, we are structuring our HTML using parents and children. The parent element could be a division or section tag or even the main or header tag. The children could be any tag, like an image, or section, or paragraph tag. The important thing is that the children tags are inside the parent tag. In this example, we have a division as the parent tag, and we have added a class of parent to make it really clear. I also have two section tags inside the parent that become the children in our family. As before, I have included a global CSS reset in my small CSS file by using the asterisk and removed the default margin and padding from all the HTML elements, as well as setting the box sizing to border box, which you learned about in a previous class. This is critical if you want to see the same results I will demonstrate. This website from CSS Tricks shows properties for the parent tag and properties for the children tag. It is a great reference when you start using CSS Grid. Here's the HTML that we looked at in a previous slide. Notice that I have a division as the parent and two children as the sections. When I go live, I see this in my Chrome browser. I will open the Inspect Tools activate the Toggle Device Toolbar, and choose Responsive from the drop-down list. This way I can demonstrate how this will look on small screens and large screens. In the small file, I have four CSS selectors. This one targets the parent division. This one targets the two children sections. This one targets the title bar in the child sections. And this one targets the paragraph in the child sections. I always design for a small screen width of 320. So let's preview that width by entering 320 here. In order to see the sections, let's add a border and a background color. Let's fancy them up by adding a border radius. What design problem do you see? Hopefully it bothers you that they are touching. So we will add margin to the top and bottom of the sections. Now let's add some optional styling to the span tag inside the section tags. When we add a dark background color, the black text becomes hard to read. So I will change the text color to white. Because the span tag is an inline tag, it sits here on the left. Let's make it display as a block and see what happens. Hopefully it bothers you that the title text looks squished. Let's add some padding. My personal preference is to have card titles centered like this. Now look closely at the top corners. Notice that the span tag is making our round corners look bad. Let's go back to the section tag where we rounded the corners and set the overflow to hidden like this. Now that looks better. Hopefully it bothers you that the paragraph text also looks squished. So let's add padding to the paragraph. Now that looks pretty good. Let me now show you this page using a phone emulator. See how the cards are touching the screen edge? 
I call this a visual tangent design error. Let's add margin around the parent tag. Now we can see that it is good. Because the cards are stacked in small view, I have not used CSS Grid. It's not necessary for the small CSS file. So if you are tempted to use CSS Grid when it's not needed, just say no. Let's change to responsive and widen our screen. This is where we need two columns and CSS Grid is helpful. I will now open my larger CSS file. Notice that I have a media query with a minimum width of 38 REM. If you multiply 38 by the default font size of 16, you get a breakpoint of 608 pixels. Please do not use 38M for your breakpoint just because I did. Please pick your own value. Notice that my width is now larger than 608 pixels so I should be seeing the enhancement of the large CSS file. Let's set the parent tag to display as a grid with two even fractions. The result is not quite what we saw on the example. The left one is supposed to be bigger. Let's change to 2FR and 1FR. That looks like the example. So what's going on here? The browser is automatically dividing the parent into three even fractions, and making the first one twice as wide as the second one. We could get a similar result by using 66.6% and 33.3%, but then we have to do that math in our head. Since fractions are ratios, we could also use 4FR and 2FR. And what if our design called for a narrow one on the left and a wider one on the right? Let's put this back as it was. Hopefully you can see the power of using CSS grid fractions. Let's now fix the bad design where these two cards are touching. Remember, this is a visual tangent error. Let's add a column gap of a few pixels and now it looks professional. One more very small detail that we identified as a problem to solve was having a drop shadow on the card sections in the large view only. I'm going to widen my browser. Now as we change the browser width from narrow to wide, we have a well-designed layout for both views. I also like to view my site as a phone at 100% and as a tablet at 100%. Thank you for joining me for this virtual lab. If you have any additional questions, please reach out in Teams and let's get them answered.